Hey there, boards. Angry Bird one two one here, back with an Arvid. Good job I was keeping an eye on OBS. Uh, my microphone was broke, and I just fixed it. But anyway, as uh, pet axolotls have arrived. Prehistoric egg. And apparently, the alpha fossils are heart stones. It's a bit hard to tell which one is which. This one's obviously a pteranodon, but I think this might be a Brachiosaurus, but. Like, none of these are purple. Oh, and the Triceratops is blue, so I'm gonna say that Jamite is the Triceratops one, and this is the Brachiosaurus one, and I actually have Mirror Light. Also, apparently now you can use someone else's pet station if you don't have one. And because it says if you are unable to get one, try visiting a buddy who has one. So that's good, now you can use the lab to level up your pets. Wow. And there's some facts about axolotls and mammoths. But anyway, it's time to see what the weekly member gift is. As in Isazolt's video, it didn't appear for her. A bank what? Kitchen. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's a yeah American English only word. <laughs> and I use British English. video I will make sure to become my pet Triceratops because Daisy Stars revealed the tactic she used to get hers leveled so fast. And then I did like an amplified version of that to drain the pet's energy even faster uh, than she did. So, already. This close. So, now to get a pet axolotl. Also, well, apparently, one of their pet toys is a Minecraft reference. So, I have a pet Pteranodon now. Or well, as I bought it at someone's shop. For 35 sapphires less than the egg. There were multiple there, but I picked the one with the best colour scheme that was available. Oh wait, hang on. This is the wrong... But all the spooky stuff is leaving today. This is so laggy because I have low space and I'm using my model and I'm recording. Okay, so it's all the way around this side. 
So, one of the pet toys is apparently a Minecraft reference. Yep, Axolotl's water bucket. This is a hundred percent a Minecraft reference. So good job it's the cheapest sort of one out of all the pet toys. Looks like the pet toy is uh, for the pets from the Spooky Toke and arrived. I didn't even notice that because I rarely check the pet toys. But you can't change the colour of the axolotl's gills, as far as I've seen. But very soon I'm going to be doing a DNA vial giveaway, because I noticed that most of my subscribers appear to be inactive, so I'm going to... Do a giveaway of a DNA file. Well, I don't know what color yet. All I know is uh, now I know how to train my pets quickly. Then uh, the RNG is gonna stand no arms against my army of pets. So I wonder how many I have now. And uh, I think I'm going to choose Moss because of the Feral Disc Ward right now. <laughs> it's just for some reason obsessed with Moss. Like, the mods are calling them elves Moss instead of Mod. <laughs> Apparently this all started a day before, or at the anniversary of the day raid. <laughs> As well, so it's clear that uh, the middle of October has something to do with the community. He just starting a new meme trend. Apparently when it starts, <laughs> it, there was even a massive spike in the Google search. For moss. <laughs> like the file server caused that. But, anyways, now I've got a pet axolotl, and let's see how many pets I have. I mean, not all of my pets are level 5, but most of them are. doesn't say how many I have. I'm gonna check here then. I checked at the perfect time. I have exactly one, two, one pets. Like, this is the only screen where I can check how many it didn't display in the regular invent. Hurry, but here. It doesn't display it in the regular inventory as you can see. But anyway, it's now to get back to who are training my pet dino. And I'll be back when I can transform it. So, see you guys then. Finally! Level 5. Now 
how to use that machine. Hello there! General Kenobi! What? reason it feels like I'm so awesome that's technically but anyways now it is time so I wonder what would happen if I were to use the color cloud on this. But it might give me a worse color combination, so I don't think I will do that. But now I have permanent axe asset to a Mesoterra. So, I cannot change the colour, but it's the first animal to have a rarity tag. So, looks like that's going to do it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, bye! I'm just about to check if there is a Phantom Dimension Dino Land after someone in Appendale mentioned it. They still haven't had. Did Mokuahi to the Phantom Dimension. And. Oh, even though the Phantoms know of its existence, considering that they spawned there uh, during the Phantom Hunt. So it were, that lessens the ch chance of there being a Phantom Mesoterra. But that doesn't mean there's no chance. I've just unlocked the, the gates for the uh, outer areas of the Phantom Dimension, so it's time to get this question answered once and for all. Is Mesoterra a part of the Phantom Dimension? That was a close one. Yes, it exists! Huh? What's the point of the Mesoterra entrance being in the Phantom Dimension? But there is no Mesoterra that it takes you to. Is the next up they're gonna have Phantom Archosaurs? It was just for the updating of the map.
Wow. <laughs> Looks like that's gonna do it for this video. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.